tweets for the Syrian rebels yesterday after they drove out Bashar al-Assad's troops from the Brigade 52 base in Deraa. It's another setback for the government, which has been rapidly losing territory. Syrian Air Force video posted online shows the response. They dropped more barrel bombs, which hit not only rebel positions, but civilians. The aim is to sow terror. But after four years of war, those who've remained in rebel-held territory are used to fear. Whenever you see people looking up, you just have this hysteria of being afraid and just following the helicopter as if knowing where it will bomb is going to make any life easier or anything help. But you just keep follow it and then with, when it's a throw, you just hide in a building. That wouldn't protect you if the bio bomb hit you because you will be either killed directly or by shrapnel or under wreckage. I was shopping for grocery and uh, the barrel bomb hit one of these peddlers' uh, desks and all the vegetables were mixed with blood, people were freaking out. And then next, <laughs> the next peddler, just 10 meters away from it, he was still calling for his vegetables and people were still shopping for it. This is a lie. On May the 3rd, a barrel bomb hit the Saif al-Dawla primary school in West Aleppo, where Zaina lives. At least seven people, including children, were killed. I started hearing the screamings of uh, mainly kids. So I went out, uh, as all the men in the neighbor, uh, to help. Um, I couldn't get that much closer because I saw them dragging the pieces of the bodies and the kids. After this incident, the schools have to close and they stopped because they think it's just too dangerous to go for education and the, fam the parents are too scared. They, they're not scared that their kids might be killed because they might be killed when they're in their houses. But the concept, I discussed that with one of the mothers. She told me, I want to die with my kids. So we stick together. We either killed all together in house or survive all together. North of the city, the rebels are fighting not the government, but jihadists from the Islamic State, who are trying to control the supply routes from the Turkish border. Civilians fear both the regime and IS, but only one has air power. I can avoid ISIS. I can just avoid the roads that they capture or the towns that they hold. I can't avoid the regime barrel bombs. So my first priority is the sky. If the sky is neutralized, if the sky is safe, I can, I can do anything. But this is my main fear as a person. President Assad last appeared in public mid-May. World leaders meeting yesterday discussed exile for him in Russia. As the regime weakens, it shows no mercy and it's not finished.